It doesn't look broken to me. Oh, Doctor, it hurts so much. Toy-tastic. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Toy-tastic. I'm back here at my doctor's surgery for another day of busy appointments. Every day, I get all sorts of patients with different problems. Some have viruses, while others have infections, and some just need to have a lie down. Why don't you have a go at diagnosing the problem with me? Okay, time for my first patient. Hello Jasmine, how can I help you both today? Oh doctor, I woke up this morning and my daughter Liliana had these red spots everywhere. I think they're the chicken pox, but I've never had them so I can't be sure. Oh dear, has she been itching them a lot? Yes, she's been itching them like crazy and I can't get her to stop. Mm -hmm. From here, I suspect she has the chicken pox, but I'll have a closer look. And if you've never had the chicken pox, you have to be quite careful as you probably will get them as well. Oh, but I've never had the chicken pox. I always thought I was very lucky. Adults can still get them sometimes and you need to keep a lookout for them. This cream will help with the itching. You can put it on three times a day. Oh, thank you, Doctor. She'll also need to take a few days off school. Oh, yay! No school for me! Well, she seems glad about that. How did I get the chicken pox? Is it because I love chicken nuggets? <laughs> no, sweetheart. It's just a virus. You probably caught it from somebody at school. They should be gone in about a few weeks. Okay, Doctor. Thank you so much. You're so pretty. You're welcome, darling. See you soon, but hopefully not for anything serious. Hello, Tiana. How can I help you today? Oh, hi, Doctor. I woke up this morning with a very sore throat. Did you say you have a very sore throat? Yes, Doctor. And my friends have been joking. I've got a frog stuck in my throat, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have a frog. It's probably just a virus. Have you been coughing up anything? Um, no, it's just very, very dry. Let me have a look. Open wide and say, ah! Ah! Mm hmm mm hmm Yes, it's as I suspected. It looks like you've got a virus. I'm afraid I can't give you any antibiotics because they won't work but I will give you some throw lozenges that should help with the pain oh okay doctor if you drink hot water honey and lemon it will help to soothe your throat you can take these lozenges whenever you feel your throat is very dry the virus should go away on its own in a few days but if it doesn't come back to see me okay doctor will do thanks very much Hello Snow White, hello little one, what seems to be the problem? Oh hi doctor, I'm sure it's nothing but I just noticed that my daughter's heartbeat has been really fast lately and I was a bit worried. Mm -hmm. I see, and has she been doing any exercises? Well, she goes to gymnastics once a week but nothing other than that. Let me have a closer look at her heartbeat on the children's table. Follow me please. I'm just going to check your heartbeat with my stethoscope. It's not going to hurt at all, okay? Don't worry doctor, I'm really brave and I'm not scared at all. Oh, what a good girl you are. Mwah. Yes, I want to be a doctor just like you. Oh, that's lovely to hear. Okay. Let's see. Breathe in for me and breathe out. Okay, we're all done. There's nothing to worry about at this stage, but it seems that your daughter's heart rate is slightly faster than usual. I'm going to have to make a referral to the local hospital. Oh no, what does that mean, doctor? The thing is, we will need to take a few more tests before we diagnose the problem. Sometimes it's nothing at all and sometimes it may need further treatment. 
You should get a letter from the hospital in about three to four weeks. Oh, thank you, Doctor, so much. Yeah, thank you, Doctor. Hi, Doctor. I'm here to collect my blood test results. OK, let me just get those for you. The results are back and it seems your iron levels are very low. Oh dear, this may be why you feel tired all the time. I knew it, I knew that's why I always feel sleepy and tired. Everyone thought it was because I was lazy, but it turns out it's because of my iron levels. You can increase your iron levels naturally by eating more red meat, spinach, lentils, as well as nuts and dried fruit. Thanks doctor, I'll try eating more of those foods. Yes, and if they don't, you can always come back for some iron supplements. OK, thanks, I'll let you know. Hello Elsa and Anna, what brings you here today? Hello doctor, my sister's hurt her hand. Yes, it's so awful, I'm in so much pain. I told her not to be dramatic, but she says she can't even move it. Oh dear, how did it happen? Well, I was chopping firewood and suddenly I felt this awful pain in my finger. It must have got broken somehow. She's a little bit dramatic sometimes. I'm not being dramatic, it really hurts. How would you know your finger's fine? Oh Anna, honestly, let me have a closer look at it, then we'll see what's wrong. It doesn't look broken to me. Oh doctor, it hurts so much. Aha, I see the problem right here. Well the good news is your finger isn't broken. Oh phew. The bad news is there's quite a big splinter stuck in your finger. A splinter? How did that get there? I think it must have been from the firewood you were chopping. So it was a splinter all along and she made me believe it was broken. Are you going to take it out? Yes, it will only take a few seconds. Will I need an anaesthetic? <laughs> no, you'll just need to turn away for a little bit. Um, actually, maybe it will come out by itself. Just stay still for me now, will you? There we go, all done. Oh wow, that wasn't so bad. Well done, little sis. Yay, my finger feels much better now. Thank you so much, doctor. We're sorry if we wasted your time. No problem, that's what doctors are for. It's better to always treat the problem before it gets worse. Come on Anna, let's go. Bye doctor, see you soon. Well that's the end of another busy day at my surgery. Being a doctor is hard work, but it pays off when you see that you're helping people. I better go home and get some rest before another busy day tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.